Hello, and welcome back to Hi Tech. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove an IC chip or microcontroller, and I'm gonna show you some different techniques that you can use. Let's get started. First technique, I'm gonna show you how to remove a microcontroller out of a breadboard with using a paper clip. I have right here a paper clip that is straightened out, slightly curved, and all you have to do is just simply slide it underneath, place your thumbs on top, and lift up, and it comes out just like this. And as you can see, the legs come out nice and straight. Another technique, you can take a very small screwdriver, wedge it underneath carefully, loosen it, stick it underneath all the way, place your finger on top, and lift straight up, and it comes out just like this. There's also a very simple tool that's made for this. This tool right here picks up microcontrollers just like this. Place it on both sides, squeeze, and lift. This particular tool is not really my favorite, but it works. Comes out just like this, and as you can see, the legs come out nice and straight. Nothing is bent or damaged. Next technique is my preferred technique, and that's using this special tool. This one picks up many different sizes of microcontrollers, from a 4-pin IC all the way up to a 28-pin IC, and maybe even larger. And all you have to do is squeeze the plastic part because these little teeth here are very small and hooked and they can fit underneath and pick up the microcontrollers very easily. Squeezing it causes them to lift up and the flat part of the plastic also presses down like if it was your fingers. This particular tool is very useful and very reliable. Open it up to size, put the little hooks in between the breadboard, place it on top nice and flat, and squeeze and lift. Comes out just like this. Very strong and easy, and as you can see, the legs are nice and straight. Now, a closer look. As you can see, it goes in and it lifts. Very effective. Removing ICs from breadboards are a little bit too easy. What if I wanted to do something more difficult, like say an Arduino Uno? This right here is a ATmega 328 microcontroller, and I want to try removing it. Because what if I wanted to replace it with another programmed one, or what if this one's damaged? Using this tool will work, but I don't feel very confident in it and it doesn't seem to be very reliable. It will work, but I don't think I want to use this. And definitely do not use a screwdriver. That will never work and it will cause damage to your microcontroller. This means using my favorite tool will be a lot more reliable. Place it on. Take the hooks and place them underneath on both ends. And as you can see, it's holding in nice and strong. And now I'll squeeze and pull with a little bit of force. And there, comes out just like this. Holding into place nice and firm. And you can see all of the legs are nice and straight. Nothing is damaged and everything works. And as you can see, my favorite tool is very reliable. And there you have it. Now you know how to remove an IC or microcontroller and using different techniques and different methods with different tools. Thank you for watching Side High Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified of future Side High Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.